Oh, shit. Looks great. Okay, well, n lie. now that we're actually recording, uh, <laughs> I didn't forget that. Um, yeah, we have an overlay. It looks a lot better. I didn't make it. It's just a thing that I found on Streamlabs because they're the best. I think it's nice, but I prefer mine. Yeah. <laughs> um. So do you guys want to start with the thing that Costello doesn't want to talk about? Uh, do we have to? It'd be pretty funny. Alright, let's not... <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we'll, we'll, we'll do the funnier thing first. Um, I have not read much into this. Um... So, Fallout 76, Costello's favorite up-and-coming game. Oh, uh, definitely. Um, I guess a bunch of players decided to coordinate launching three nukes at the same time. And it <laughs> crashed the entire server. Can I just say, <laughs> how... Th apparently, though, the nukes are not easy to obtain. The nuke codes are, like, super hidden and stuff. Right. Oh, excuse me. So, for them to not only coordinate the fact that all three of them will launch at the same time, but to all sit there and obtain what I assume is 20 oh, yeah. hours plus of searching for nuke codes. Well, evidently, uh, they all targeted them at the exact same spot. So that way, three Scorch Beast Queens would spawn in the same spot. And those spawn from nukes? Uh, yeah, uh, there's a chance. I don't think it's guaranteed. Um, I mean, that's just the best way of getting them, I guess. Yeah, well, are they like it, far? Uh, what do you get from Scorch Beast Queens? I have no idea. Really I haven't looked that deeply into the game, although I do want to play it. Hey, there, that guy over there. I got you. Well, book in the stream, man. Either way, the game's garbage, so. I, I still <laughs> think it looks like fun, man. Like, glitches and shit aside, it that's kind of a look big like problem. Fun, but looks can be deceiving. We've learned that. That's true. The thing is, like, people are like, this is the game nobody asked for. Hasn't everybody thought every Bethesda game would be fun with multiplayer? Just not this way. No, no, because what we want is the base game, but you can put your friend in. That's all we asked for. Yeah, we didn't like, ask for a completely redesigned game. All we wanted was to put another yeah. person inside of the game, and that's it. It makes me kind of happy. Um... So I guess they're trying to, like, they said that they're hoping the team that did it is going to try to do it again. Um, I really hope so, too. I want to I mean, see how much they can do it. So that kind of leads us to this little second thing here. Um, so Fallout 76 has an update coming tomorrow. Um, oh, I'll just get back from the last day of MIT program. I was going to. It was fun. Okay, sounds like cool, man. Um, I don't do college shit, so... I would have no idea what the fuck you were doing there. Um, I was so no. Oh, you're good. Um, Pineapple Snake, welcome to stream as well. Thank you for the host. I saw you hosted right before we went live. So um, it again. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so, coming off of that giant crash, there's an update coming tomorrow, but seeing as this other article was was posted eight hours ago, I think it's too late to patch launching through Nix at once, crashing the server. Uh, all you have to do is make the game good. Yeah. So this well, Scorch Beast Queen thing looks really badass. It's level 95. Oh yeah, it looks awesome, <laughs> man. Nice. But it's hitting on Monday. Um, but what does it say here? It's a lot of it had to do with PC stuff. Like, okay, the big thing I saw, and I actually watched the guy streaming this who realized it the hard way. Push to talk didn't work on PC. Wonder why. Well, actually, I think it wasn't enabled. Um, uh, so you couldn't. Idiot. So you couldn't use push to talk. Like no, none of the players had the option to use it. Um, so like, if you were like trying to stream the game or whatever, everybody around you in the game is hearing everything that you're saying. Oh, so you can't like just not. Yeah. So that that's going to be patched. So now you can actually push to talk. Why is how is that a mistake you make? I don't know. Like, is that, that should be like priority for communication? I mean, it is. It is talk. a beta, so you're expecting stuff like that. But like, it had to be with like one dude who forgot to enable that option for people to be able to use it. It's not just a beta. It's a Bethesda beta. It's like a beta of a beta. Yeah. But another thing is the f the field of view vision slider. People were expecting it to come, and this update didn't. Um, a lot of console players don't really worry about this because you normally can't do it anyways. But on PC, having a field of vision slider is really helpful because you can ex make it larger so you can actually see more of your surrounding. I honestly get more disoriented whenever I update my field of view. I I, I get a little disoriented, but then it kind of like I don't know. I get used to it. Lots of doing um, FOV in Minecraft. Yeah, no, for Minecraft, as I was about to say, is for Minecraft, um, 
one of my old friends told me to bump up my FOV slider, and I was like, why? That looks horrible. Why do you make it, me do this? It actually helps, though. Like, it sounds weird, but it helps. Isn't there some kind of FOV thing for Overwatch 2 you can technically turn on? Yes. Uh, is there? I believe so. Why the fuck did I have that on? But anyways, it currently doesn't support ultra-wide monitors, but apparently it's supposed to doing it soon enough as well. Um, yep. Now, that might sound like, oh man, how could not support that? Actually, a lot of games don't support ultra-wide mon ultra -wide monitors. Um, usually, good, though. yeah, usually it's just AAA games. Um, but this is definitely one of those, I would assume. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. But apparently the stash box is going to increase capacity, but again, that's not happening in this update. So this update is basically just turning on push to talk from what I can tell so far. Wow, what a great update. I can't wait. Hi, Seymour. Hi, Seymour. Oh, um, God. But apparently it's limited to 400 pound weight, which honestly kind of sucks if any of you have played Fallout. Like, 400 pounds is nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's like base weight. Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. Um... But they said that the current limit is due to technical reasons. Um, it says, to cap the number of items the game is tracking in the world, including every container and stash. Oh, it's probably because they're trying to track where everything is going to during the beta. That that kind of makes sense. Uh, I guess. We believe he has some ideas um, in both the short and long term that will address the size without risking stability. But this is um, one we need to take our time with to make sure it's done right. All right. Well, that's fair. I'll give him that one. But they're also going to be fixing quests, um, use your interface <laughs> with camps. Yeah, I mean, what, what quests? What, what, yeah, fetch quests. Fetch quests. <laughs> you mean go here? Yeah, it's also going to fix exploits with various types and issues with social with the social menu. Um, mm. So basically, it's just From a big. What I've seen. It's a it's a big bug fix, man. We're talking about. Okay. I disagree. All right, cool. From what I've seen. Nobody even plays with each other anyway. I've seen a lot of people off on their own, not actually be in a group unless it's to just dick around. Yeah. Not a very good sign. Like, because uh, apparently shared shared loot's not a thing. You all get the same loot, so you have to share it amongst yourselves. So bringing someone with you anyway is kind of hindering your Right, game. but at the same time, you can still get through places faster. But so the... And, for what with what challenge though? Right, because like if it drops like a really good like item, only one of your people are gonna get it. And then you probably have hard to find. Unless you go to the red zone, the game's ridiculously easy. Yeah. Um. And it's 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 like um, what was division? The division. Unless you're in the dark zone, the game's gonna be easy for the you. The division was just bad. Like it was such a cool idea. I'll admit that it was a bad game. I feel like if it was always open world, where you could choose to shoot someone always, I feel like that would be a more of an interesting idea than the way they actually did it. But I still had fun playing it for the amount of time I didn't play with my friends. Yeah. Uh, yes, Seymour, sure. I will. I will. I want to know what you disagree with. But uh, no. I was gonna say you. Yeah, I had a feeling. <sighs> um. But no, like, I, I still want to play the game. But as far as, like, pre-ordering or paying 60 bucks for it, not going to happen. It looks like fun, well, but not that much fun. That's why you pre-order, find out if you like it, cancel the pre-order. Good point. Um, I guess... Or just wait until the game's out and then get it. Yeah. Well, then you won't know if you like it until you actually pay for it. Well, that, that's the thing the with game. Steam. Uh, if you play the game for less than two hours, or I've owned it for less than, like, I think it's, like, 48 hours... Um, you can get a refund anyways, so... I feel like two hours is not enough time for a Fallout game to find out if you like oh, it Oh, I not. agree on most games, honestly, but, uh, I can see why they limited it to two hours on Steam. I um, understand. Yeah, no, I get it, because there's a lot of games that you can buy that don't take two hours to find out if you like or not, but for a game... There's a lot like, of games you, you can beat Beth in two hours. For Bethesda, that's, like, yeah, the bare minimum. That's, like, you just started and now you're trying to leave the first fucking town or something there's nothing you can do in a bethesda game in two hours yeah big dumb all right let's get off this fucking fallout bullshit yes please wait um, no fortnite's next let's go back you want to go to fortnite all right well, let's go to this great fortnite um yeah, anybody, yeah, anybody, yeah, wa yes. anybody watching that likes this game none of us here do <laughs> Yeah, we're just I think the, the community makes me want to throw up. 
So. Yeah, so don't expect nice feedback from us. Honestly. Um, but essentially, they're, they're getting sued again, which is great. Good again. <laughs> yeah, the, the last lawsuit was by PUBG, and it fell through because Epic owns <laughs> Fortnite and PUBG. They were suing themselves. Why, uh -huh. in the first place, would PUBG, a game that ripped off of fucking H1Z1, a game that ripped off of Arma 3, even try to fucking Man. pursue anyone? Man, I have no idea. No, I mean, they all they all ripped off fucking Hunger Games Minecraft, right? Yeah. That's I the think real... Off the Hunger Games well, I think H1Z1 was out before that. Books. So. I have to go to the bathroom. Um, I don't think H1Z1's that old, is it? Well, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty Minecraft's old. Minecraft's like 2011. Yeah, but Minecraft Hunger Games, though. Oh, that's uh, How old were the movies? Like, the day after the first one released, probably. <laughs> I thought it was 2013 when Minecraft Hunger Games started coming around. When was H1Z1 out? Um, but essentially, the rapper 2 Millie is trying to sue Fortnite because of their Swipe It emote, which I swipe guess is it. directly ripped off of, like, a dance that he does. I don't fucking know. You can't copyright a dance, can you? Well, I think that's kind of the thing, is that it's not necessarily copyrighted. Um, I think it's more of he's the only person who's done it, and he started the whole thing, and I don't fucking know, man. But that's not how that works. By yeah, that I know. That's why, that's, why, that's why he actually says it's like an uphill battle. His biggest issue is that they're monetizing it, obviously. Um, well, no, he I said, get you there, but fuck yeah. you. But man. they said like uh, they actually sell that particular move. It's for purchase. That was when I was really like, oh, no, nah, this can't go on too long. Okay, well, fair enough. Then ask for compensation. Ask, like, hey... Right, ask for royalties off of that. Also, look at the dude. tweet at the bottom of that article by Chance the Rapper. Oh, the dance is literally called Millie Rock. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, that's the name of the dance, so... Yeah. Maybe it is copyrighted. Um... But I guess it was part of a paid-for battle pass for Fortnite Season 5, which is already over, so you can't get the emote anymore. Um... Dang, why is he still suing? Because everybody that already had it still has it. Right. Um, and it probably helped sell that pass. Um, okay. I mean, I don't know why you would want it for a fucking emote, but, you know. Um, but it says that he doesn't want to bash... It says, it's in quotes, uh, I don't want to bash Epic for all the millions. It's not really like that. I just feel like I have to protect what is, what is mine. Um, dance. Fucking honestly, dance. Dude, I'm, get over yourself. I'm more than happy about this though, because Fortnite is just taking every fucking dance thing ever and putting it in their game, and all these kids are like, "Well, that's from Fortnite." No. Yeah, no. I've seen a lot it, of uh, yeah. people think the um, the everything? floss is from Fortnite. They think everything is from Fortnite. Right. There was uh one of the dances from what was what was the fucking show. <sighs> Isn't it a Fresh Prince? I think it was Fresh Prince. Is that what you're talking about? I think there's one that's from Fresh Prince that they have yeah. in there. And then the Party Rocker each fucking dance. Yeah, like... It, it's all stolen shit. Like, they, they mean, could... They could have attempted to get sued a few times, but no one really has until now. Um, but it really says here that there's a lot of case lawsuits surrounding the copyrights of music, lyrics, and sounds. There's a full body... Lyrics? Um... There's a full body of case law related to that, but regarding choreographic works, it does not exist. So there's no case law on dance moves. Of course not. It's a dance. Right. Now, one thing he said is that Epic should at least play the songs that inspire the emotes and players use them. Honestly, I think that wouldn't even be a bad idea for the game to do that. Like, I think, yeah, they yeah. should play the song whenever they're doing the emo, because they have a lot of stuff like that. Oh, they, yeah. they have the Snoop Dogg dance too? Okay, Pineapple. I hate Fortnite. Um, so much. What's redeeming? What is the redeeming factors? Yeah. They're just turning it into a cringe fest. It's like they want it to be made for. I people. know. <laughs> oh no, man! It's like they want it to be cringy as possible. Yeah, like I think game of the year this year is going to be between like maybe Fallout seventy six, probably. Smash if it Ultimate, is Fallout seventy six, I'm Red Dead okay. Two. Sorry. Was it Red Dead Redemption two released? So that's the winner. Yeah. Red Dead Listen. two, Smash Ultimate, Fortnite. Because oh, let go. God Let's go. Fortnite, if Fortnite I mean, let's go or really, Fallout 76 become game of the year, I will literally delete my PlayStation 4 save data and burn it. I mean, technically, Fortnite came out last year. Yeah. Were they even in the run-ups? I thought free games couldn't be game of the year. I mean, oh, can, can they not? I mean, it's free, but it, they're making a fuck ton of money off of it because holy fuck. Like, Overwatch has not monetized their shit this heavily. 
<laughs> Watch doesn't even monetize their shit. You can buy loot boxes and then get cosmetics. Oh yeah, yay. and nobody does. Nobody does. It's just an option. Yeah. But their product comes from all the merch they sell. You never hear people making fun of Overwatch Gold, but people make fun of V Bucks for a reason. Overwatch Gold. Yeah, isn't that what they call it? Just gold? Like, what do they call it? They're coins, dude. Yeah. I just call it currency. O-Bucks. Let's call them O-Bucks. But no, he actually tweeted out, Fortnite should put the actual rap songs behind the dances that make uh, that make so much money as emotes. Uh, black creatives created and popularized these dances, but never monetized them. Imagine the money people are spending on these emotes being shared with the artists who actually made them. I mean, yeah. I mean, at the same time, do they really need that much money? Like, I think uh, two milli is doing just fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure he's fine. Uh, he's a rapper, rapper right? Not, he's not a rapper video, in though. early 2000s, late uh, or late 2000 teens. So he's right. definitely fine because rap's like a huge thing right now. But at the same yeah, time, like he did make. It, and he is kind of entitled to at least something for that. He's entitled to compensation, I'll agree with you there. But to make a big deal out of it isn't fair Yeah. of him. He can be like, hey, can I get royalties for that? Can I get like 5% of what you make, maybe? And then they'd be like, sure, you made the dance, but you wouldn't have sold that much without it, so take your money, you earned it. Yeah. But it's... whatever, sue him, I guess. I mean, it's not even like they're trying to monetize the dance. They're really just doing the dance. Yeah. Like the rappers at least are. The rappers, no, the rappers monetizing isn't the monetizing the dance. He just made the yeah. dance. You're right there. I don't know. It's <sighs> it's stupid, man. Like I'm you, ready for this Fortnite shit to end. Can't wait for all of his 11 year old audience to no longer watch his stuff because they're so mad at him for Fortnite. <laughs> oh. All My right. stomach hurts. Let's get oh. away. Let's get away from this cringe. Let's go to something more heartwarming. Oh, yeah? yeah? Let's get away from games that Castell doesn't like. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, so, moving on to another Twitch streamer, uh, Sweet Anita, I believe I'm saying the name right. Sweet Anita um, is correct. So, recently, um, as of like a few days ago, she had applied for Twitch Partner, um, which I'm not sure if you guys know, it takes a long process. They have to, like, like, they basically dig through your fucking background. They dig through your profile, everything, man. Um, so... She was afraid that she wanted to get partner because she has Tourette's. Um, now, that that being said, it's not like... Some people have Tourette's in the form where they just kind of grunt a lot. We actually had a dude in the arcade a while back some who... Some people just snap her and stuff. It's yeah. We had a dude in the arcade random. a little while back who had, like... He would just grunt really loud, like, really deep, and he couldn't help it. They just did it all the time. Um, but he's not like he's yelling and cussing and shit like that, but he's a big dude, so it's kind of aggressive. Like, it was kind of freaky if you don't know what he has. <laughs> um... But, uh, no, like, I'm assuming, I haven't watched her streams, that she does have the form where you're cussing and yelling and shit. And probably well, saying things... scared. Right, probably saying things that Twitch doesn't approve of. Well, Twitch gave it to her anyways, which is a good thing, because she can't help it. Mm-hmm. Um... But she's, like, freaking out about it. She's super excited because she wasn't sure if they were going to give it to her, yada, yada. Um, not only is it hard enough to apply for partner to begin with, because when... Think about it from Twitch's point of view. Whenever they give somebody a partner, the ads on your channel no longer support Twitch. And if you know, you're, this is for you at that point. Yep. And if you're big enough to make partner, that means that you're getting a large amount of views, and they want that money. And a large amount of money from the ads. But at the same time, if you become partner and they start supporting you more, you want to keep streaming more, you want to start using their service more, and people subscribe to you, Twitch makes more money off of the subs than they would off the ads. Um, it, 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 yeah, um, but um, I've never actually watched one of her streams or clips or videos or anything like that. I'm so just looking her up right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so I can't really say anything other than the fact that if she's that worried, she must say some pretty bad stuff. Well, not only... just cursing, but some bad stuff. Well, you could tell Twitch definitely gave it special attention. Um, because like it says here that she was approved after only five days, rather than waiting the usual three really? to, rather than waiting the usual three to four weeks. It's supposed to be a month. It took you a month for a affiliate. Oh no, it only, it only it only took about a week for affiliate, but partner takes a lot longer. Jeez. 
Um, yeah, it's it's kind of awesome. Um, That's good. I'm I'm happy for her. She I'm happy it. that Twitch actually did that because Twitch yeah, and Twitch and YouTube, YouTube especially, are known for just being assholes about monetization and shit like that. <laughs> Twitch is not that bad as far, as far as streaming services go. It's definitely better than streaming on YouTube. What about um, Mixer, yo? Right, but then you have Mixer, who is arguably a lot better when it comes All to right, monetization. So far, I'm sure it's going to bite them in the ass pretty soon, but as long as they're having fun, I don't care. Right. I don't know, like, as far as monetization goes, like, Mixer has been doing a lot better when it comes to that. Whereas, like, fucking, uh, you know, Twitch is more PC and stuff, and so is YouTube. Okay. So it's kind of a good thing to see that they're not going to, like, do this to someone who can't help it. So, I don't know how true this is, but first of all, she plays Overwatch as like her main streaming kind of thing. No okay. shit, someone playing Overwatch in streams? That's unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> but she's only had 12 streams according to her page. What? What? Yeah. Okay, now I'm actually a little up to that. There's my fucking There is no way. Alright, hold on. In the videos in the latest broadcast, you hit expand all. There's only twelve. Oh no! It only it only turn that on. It only backlog for thirty days too. Oh really? And she oh. could also choose to delete them, or she could have had it turned off. And well, I mean, the first one that's shown is November sixth. I noticed that one. So that's less than thirty days. Right. Well, she's actually I mean, streaming right now. Well, I mean, granted, no, she's she's um. Oh yeah, she's she's hosting. Yeah. She's hosting. Granted, there are some clips that people took from like October twentieth. So right. she has probably deleted them. So that's. Me just not being smart. That's okay, Yoshi. We understand. You're in yeah. a special position. Yes, he has 157,000 followers, which makes me more than a little jealous. 157,000 um, is a fuck ton, even for Twitch. Yeah, see what you mean. Holy crap! So, like, all of her, all of her streams have like 350 views, 1,080, 2,100. Then her partnered stream had 7,600. She's uh she's doing well for herself. Yeah. I wonder if it's because she's actually entertaining or the usual. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going through the clips right now, like all of her clips. I don't see anything past. Oh, never mind. September thirtieth. You watch yeah. like, watch a clip. Watch one of the clips. I want to see. June seventeenth. All right. So speaking of both Twitch and Overwatch, I saw an ad on this that I wanted to go uh, check out. I just now. Really. Yeah. Well, I just now spotted this ad. <laughs> Can and... we go through one fucking podcast without talking about Overwatch? No. Well, this is about XQC. Oh, then yeah, go ahead. Oh, I saw an ad, and I just clicked on that. So once again, it's on the same site. But it says XQC gets Overwatch account suspended. says that he's done with Overwatch. Yeah, I would be too at this point. You know how many times they've like just... As it is, this like his 12th time? I mean... There's so many times where they've just either screwed him over or something has happened to him that... You see, honestly, he probably didn't even deserve. Yeah, he's yep. toxic, but so is the majority well, of the goddamn... The... The, the main reason why is whenever he's like supposed to represent the league or in, all, in the World Cup, he actually has to sign a contract saying like you cannot be a super dick. Um, and for that contract, basically says for the duration that you are affiliated with us, which could be you know just during the months of the seasons, um, you can't be a dick on the stream because you're supposed to represent the league. And of course, he still does that because he he was making gay jokes and racist jokes. They and... knew what he was before they let him on. It's their fault. Well, it's not necessarily that they let him on. It's that the team recruited him, and the Overwatch League can't tell them, no, you cannot recruit this player. They, 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 it's either that or ban him from the league. That's what I'm saying. The, the Dallas Fuel knew what kind of person he was. Right, well, that's what Dallas Fuel got fined so for it as well. Canada. Yeah, then they made that money back in a stream, a single stream. Oh, yeah. Um, but no, he was in a 15-day ban uh, recently, but then he just then got suspended again for 24 days. Um, last time it was a report for abusive chat, which XQC played down as banter on the occasion. On, on this occasion, the reason for his ban is unclear, but it's rumored to, to be a to be similar to his ban for toxicity previously. Okay, After but here's discovering... the thing. Do what? He's toxic, yeah. But here's the thing: how many people on Overwatch are, are toxic as well? And they're just the, the only reason they're not getting done, anything done about them is because they're not fucking huge famous streamers. Well, yeah. this is, I can this see is my that, problem. but the same point. Like, the, he's supposed to represent the league, and if he's that, more toxic than so most players... Wrong, more, there's so much more wrong with this fucking game than some guy being a dick every now Oh, yeah, and yeah, I agree yeah. with that. But, like, at the same time, I can definitely see where they're coming from, because Overwatch doesn't want to be that game that's known for toxic players. So any they game, already are! 
Right, and this is them trying to fight that. Wouldn't you want to fight There's that? No if you, if they wanted to fight it, they would have done it before this got this bad. It is a horrible, horrible well, they, place to they've go been, to if you're trying to have fun. They've been doing this for a long time, man. They've, they've been, done nothing. They've been banning toxic players since season one, man. There's been almost no difference in toxicity, though. I mean, yeah, no, because people are dumb. People are always going to do it, but they can still try to stop it. They can and, try, but at this point, what's the point if you're all you're going to do is maybe ban a few people here and there, and right. then nothing changes? They but, haven't done anything within the game other than the good boy system. Like, anyone actually gives a shit. Right, that was kind of dumb. Yeah, it's just culture experience. Um, but he said after he got suspended, he didn't receive a warning, which is what usually happens when you get banned. So it is kind of bad if they didn't give him a warning. Nah, that's bad. Um... I mean, I remember, I remember seeing one of his, like, clips of just what happened, or just one of his, like, moments. And it's just him checking all his teammates, like, seeing who they made and stuff. And all of them made Ana. So on team voice chat, he just yells, I'm on a team with five fucking Ana mains. There's no way that's what he got banned for, though. There's no fucking way. No, I'm just way. saying, it's not, that's not what he got banned for, but I'm just okay. saying, like, that's something that happened. That's just one clip that I remember. That's yeah, a good clip. I like that. And clip. then there's him like mocking people at the end of a match, and then he's like, "Fuck, my mic's on!" Like, open mics on. I mean, <laughs> he's done that so many times. I actually, I actually just do not like him <laughs> because I don't do toxic people. But this guy's he is a special kind of dick. Why? Like, <laughs> agree with you there. He is not a good person. Like, I don't oh, know no. how. Ugh, I hate that people like this become popular on Twitch. That uh, dude, it's the same thing with YouTube. If you're popular, if you're a dick, you're gonna be popular. That's how it works now. Yeah, it it sucks, <laughs> man. I like him personally. I like him simply for the fact that he's a tank main, and I like to watch his videos because he's good at playing a tank. He's oh, good yeah. at the game. He's insane at the game. Yeah, and I, I used to watch him to learn how to play my tank shit better because you know it's, who else would I watch other than DXQC? Right. I mean, Jane's pretty good at maintaining. But... Well, I don't know, yeah, man. But... Like, in the end, if your biggest streamer is also, like, one of the most toxic people in the fucking, like, entirety of Overwatch, that that's kind of setting a precedent for people that are watching him that don't own the game to go, hey, man, I can go in here and start fucking with people. Like, and again, that's, that's their... It... They didn't deal with it early enough is what it is they didn't put any in place yeah they were banning people but they didn't put anything in place early enough to actually prevent toxicity from growing and growing it's gotten so bad but what could they do, do? what could they what have can done? They do is right but that's what i'm saying like yeah maybe they can't do anything but that if they're trying to stop it now which they're failing at because if anything it's getting worse and worse like like i well, said I when i went from ps4 to pc i've never seen that much toxicity change it's so much worse but what, like I was saying before, like they have been trying for a long time. The reason people are freaking out about it now is because Daddy XQC got suspended again. <laughs> like this has always happened. Like we've had multiple it's, Overwatch League members get banned since since the first part of the Overwatch League since preseason. The only one people care about is XQC. Yeah, like my like, dad. I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to remember another one right now. Like I think OGE maybe got. I, mean, I thought OGE was fine. There's a lot of people that got suspended, and, like, I can't blame them. Like, they're trying to make it, like, if you're representing us, you need to watch but your mouth. But at that point, but at that point, why do you even bother? The game... I don't know. Like, if I'm signed in, if I'm, if I'm contractually obligated to not be a dick, and I start being a dick, I'm not gonna freak out when I get banned. No, I'm not gonna complain when I get banned if I sign a contract, but I'm saying at that point, you know the game is super toxic, you know the game is deals with so much stuff, you know the game has so much wrong with it, at that point, why try to show it off as some kind of kin fr kid friendly game? Why are you trying to pretend it's not what it is? Well, they're trying to make it. They're, they're, they're trying to make it that I, way. And I, I get, get that. I get they're trying to make it. But at this point, there's no point because it's not going to happen. Yeah. And they know that. But they're trying anyway. I mean, you can't necessarily fault him for trying. And I don't know. Him getting suspended is not a shocker to me. Of course, we don't know what he actually did to get suspended. But I guarantee you, it was not something good. I mean, it's probably just, uh, he called another dude gay or some shit. I don't fucking yeah. care. I don't know. He He's not a smart dude. Like, <laughs> he's not. At least he's good at playing what he does. He knows what he's doing. I mean, yeah, I, I he could kick... He, like, he, could, he could 1v6 any six mystery team members, but, like, he's well, still... Well, no, that's obvious. We suck. Yeah, but he's still... <laughs> he's still a dick. I don't have to like him because he's good at something. 
Um, but no, like I'm, I'd be kind of happy if he left Overwatch, like personally, because I'm tired of seeing him on the Overwatch streams. <laughs> I'd be happy if a lot of people left Overwatch simply because they can do so much better somewhere somewhere else. <laughs> Well, a lot of Counter Strike Go people left that when uh, Overwatch League started just to try to get into that. Go back to Counter Strike. So Overwatch sucks. Yeah, go back to the more toxic community. Counter Strike is dead, dude. I'm gonna be oh, honest with you. Counter Strike yeah. is dying. Especially when all that gambling anymore. shit came to light and they started shutting out all these gambling sites. Like all the ten year olds couldn't make their money off the of skins anymore. Dude, even Raccoon Eggs and and Swagger Souls are breaking off the CS:GO thing, and they're like the top dogs in CS:GO. Yeah. Oh shit! I'll actually be right back, guys. Sorry, I feel like two seconds. All right. Well, I don't have the next topic, so. Hey, it's been two seconds and he's not back. Well, I guess we're done ranting about Overwatch. Let me pull up the next one. over. <laughs> uh, who would we just Good do? Time to riot. Uh, new Twitch partner, Fortnite lawsuit, Overwatch, pink team. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get that one out of the way to get the Overwatch shit done with. This Is will this be the quick. pink and blue one, the bubblegum team? Yeah, so... I love them, I want it. I already have a blocker turned off, right? Fuck you, why is it on again? <laughs> Man, you can't say that on Twitch. Why, why the fuck is it on again? I had it fucking turned off. Um, Overwatch so no, pink team. I'm gonna butcher this, but is it like Hang? Is it Hang Zal? Hang Zal so. Spark? It, uh, let me let me check it out. I'm usually good at phonetics. Phonetics. There I go. Never yeah, mind. I'm not. Me. So essentially, they the, the, <laughs> four, four page not found. Okay. Yeah, they have like a fucking. Uh, the best fucking like color scheme ever. It's fucking pink and blue. It's like fucking fucking cotton candy. Um, oh god. But I guess That's great. That the, 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 they're actually like being huge on social media. Not only are they trying to make their branding really good by you know, like making their like their members like dress up fancy and shit. Like their merch looks really good. The skins look really good if you like pink and blue. Um, oh my god! Hold on. I just realized the. Uh... Contributor contributor to this article is called Castello. Yep. Yeah, I mentioned that. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the Red Spark. Dead thing. Hangzhou Spark, yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess they're just being huge on social media, and like, unlike other teams, they're actually posting a lot of shit like about the team and who's being added and all that. Dude, I Ooh, love that they're not that afraid really to just early. go, "Hey, we are pink and blue. Deal with it, bitch." <laughs> I oh, love no. it. Pineapple just made me pink. sad. Dude, Pink Reaper, I cannot wait. Pineapple. I don't know where my money's going. Oh, yeah, I need Pink Reaper. Pink Reaper. But no, Pineapple made me sad. He said, rip for Swagger Souls and Raccoon Eggs because they are now slowly fading into Fortnite. And now PewDiePie is getting they, closer uh, to playing Fortnite. Yeah, I watched their, um... Ugh. I, I watched, uh, or listened, sorry, to one of their podcasts. And they're like, oh, I really like Fortnite. It's just the community kind of sucks, but... PewDiePie, fun as a game. PewDiePie, I already dislike your content enough. Don't do Fortnite. Dude, I love PewDiePie. Don't even. He's a cool person. I don't like his content. Yeah, all he does is sit there and make fun of other things. It's not really content. Yeah, and then he kills memes with this fucking meme review thing. He does that. He, he At least he's self-aware about it now. Oh, yeah, he knows that it kills memes. Like <laughs> I think that's why he's doing it now at this point. Just you can just start reviewing his least favorite memes so it'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... There's another team that has a really cool, like, double blue color. It's like dark blue and light blue. I'm just looking at other team colors, like, that are new. Dark blue and light blue is Dallas Fuel, dude. No, it's a different, like, it's, I don't know how to describe it. Oh my god, the, okay, the I mean. Longzhou Charge, I don't know how to say oh, that right. Wait, are they all Korean teams or Chinese teams? Oh, they're there's all like, fucking. There's, like, four, I think they have two new Chinese teams. What about the American teams? Are they still there? Well, there's one, there's two new American teams. It's Atlanta and Washington. Okay. And there's two Canadian teams. Wait, Washington D.C. or Washington State? D.C. I think. Okay. Big dumb. And let me let me just go through the news again. Uh, scroll all the. Is, way. is their color scheme white and white? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that on stream. How dare yeah, I, you have an opinion? I didn't. I'm not insinuating anything. But no, like uh -uh. I, I officially hate their fucking uh, marketing team now because they posted a picture of like their merch, the one of their shirts on this uh, girl, and it says, some outfits just give you the extra spark, you know? God damn I it. love that, dude. Oh my god, I'm buying oh, that. That's so, yeah, that's one of the uh, commentators for Mobile Watch League. If Who you, is it? Let me see. If you kill memes, there will be new ones and less time to steal them. That's true. Oh, I love them, dude. 
They're my new favorite team. You know who I'm voting for, everyone. <laughs> Watch them be the next thing, Shanghai Dragons, though. Dude, if Yo, they're the next Shanghai Dragons, that would even be better. <laughs> Honestly, I like, I'd prefer them, it. To be honest. The most, dude, I want them to win so bad, though. Legitimately, I want them to do really good. Like, what if, like, Spark gets second and Dragons get first this next go around? If Shanghai Dragons so goes, wins even one match, then I will start voting for them. I will post nudes. No. <laughs> Like I'm saying, if Shanghai Dragons does good in round one, I'm buying some merch. I'll buy the merch. I'll spend my next uh, 200. I still have 200 um, okay. Overwatch tokens I'll, on my account. I'll agree to buying merch as long as they have merch that costs less than a dollar. Uh, well... <laughs> Do you know how merch works? <laughs> no, I don't. No, it's, uh, you know That's what he does. That's why we right? don't have any. Really well. Alright, All right. let's get away from this fucking Overwatch shit. Um, uh, are you sure? I'm gonna bring Overwatch yeah. back to topic now. So now <laughs> we're going to um, a much more? better game, Devil May Cry. Dude, yes. Oh my god. So, there's actually... Uh, is this image official on this fucking article? Fuck yeah, dude. I hope it's official, because it looks really cool. I really do, too. It looks awesome. Um, Essentially, Devil May Cry series coming, coming from Castlevania Netflix producer. Now... Get uh, it like, up, right? Yeah, like it says here on the fucking article, correction, um, essentially they said that it was coming to Netflix, so that's not confirmed. Um, the original version of the story said the Devil May Cry series was coming to Netflix. In fact, it has not yet been announced what service or network will carry the show. However, the guy who fucking came out and announced it is a fuck, he produces for Netflix, so... Ooh, might be true then. Here's my thing, though. Uh... What is the story going to be? Is it going to be like Devil May Cry 1 story? Is it going to be DMC Devil May Cry? Or is it going to be its own Well, D DMC is longer canon. Oh, So, good. I definitely don't think so. Also, it is animated, so that picture is not going to be accurate, but... I was going to say, maybe they... Wait, is it like animated... Oh, like, wait, never mind. Like if it's going to be CGI, animated. Hyper CGI animation, or is it going to be It's like going to be Castlevania, guaranteed, if it's the same dude. Ah, uh, okay. I was um, going to say, I if it was actually live action like that, or whatever... You could say they foreshadowed it with making the uh, jacket viable. Oh, yeah. Like, they're producing yeah. these. Why not have them in an actual show now or something? Well, can, right. Can, have they, you guys watched the Castlevania show? Nope. I did. I watched the first okay. few episodes of season one. I'm still watching it right now, actually. There's actually only like five because it was like a, it was a test. They were testing the water um, like a pilot season. It was really good. The animation was really good. The voice acting was pretty subpar. It was it was all right. It was like uh, American voice actor from the nineties. Yeah. Acting. Main question is why the fuck is the main character so goddamn quiet? Like, literally the background noise drowns you know, out the main character. Because she's just a helpless little. Uh, Wait, uh, you know. Apparently, you haven't gotten too far things. You haven't met the main character yet. No, uh, I haven't. <laughs> um, it's one of the Belmonts. I, I can't remember what Belmont it was. Oh. So I can't, is it Simon? It's not Simon, it's, um... No. Mr. No, I can't remember what the fuck his name is. Richter? Richter. No. Is, no. It's the only one I know. It's wasn't he in I three? Know. Wasn't Richter in three? I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. You're asking the wrong person. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. But no, like, he, when, whenever you get to meet him, like, he's, he's really cool, but holy fuck, like, you cannot hear him. Can't wait. Like, Devil May Cry... Okay, first off, next Castlevania season... Like, I think 2 is already out. I haven't watched it if it is. Um, they better work on that. And I hope Devil May Cry isn't like that. We don't need Dante to be fucking whispering. No, Dante's gotta be loud, dude. Not loud, but dude, like... Dante's he's gotta be out there, dude. He's gotta be cocky and full of himself. Like some kind of badass surfer dude, dude except without the surfer part. <laughs> I'm honestly excited for this. Like... I am too. Is Nero gonna be in it? Uh, I hope not. I mean, what? I hope so. Dude, Nero is way cooler than Dante. Dante is so much cooler. No, Nero is the best. Dante is you so much cooler. You can't not love Nero. He's got a fucking Magnum 44 that shoots twice, and he's got the <laughs> Rev Blade. It's so cool. How could you want anyone <sighs> else? Dante's sword sucks. Dante's the coolest. But Nero's the son of Virgil. Okay, listen. Here, Here's my explanation, all right? Dante's the coolest. Okay, but here's my explanation. <laughs> All, um, Although I, I, I do agree. His arm is always in dev, uh, Devil Trigger, man. I do agree with the son of Virgil. That that That's the cool part. Yeah, dude. How did Virgil ever get laid is my question. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Like, I said... Uh, and the guy, the big, the doctor guy from Devil May Cry 4, how did he ever get laid, too? The fucking yeah. weird wasp thing. Just saying, always thought Virgil was gay. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. How did the – also, speaking of, because I was just starting to watch an LP of it recently. How did the uh, Yamamoto get broken again? Uh, I don't know. Okay, cool. So, yeah, if you guys want, like, a preview for this kind of thing, they actually did make a Castlevania anime. I watched a little bit of it. I haven't watched all of it. Uh, it's it's older, so obviously the art style won't be the same, but it can give you guys an idea really as to what, out. like, an anime fucking Devil May Cry would be like. It's an older code, sir, but it checks out. I fucking hate you. I hate me too, don't worry. <laughs> all right, what's next on the list? Oh, yeah, uh, Bill Maurer? Is that how you say his name? Bill Maurer? Bill Maurer, yeah, he's the guy who shit all over the comic. Yeah, he's a dick. Um, uh, yeah. Conservatives, conservatives, sorry, hate him. Not to get political, because I'm not allowed to say things like that, apparently. Yeah. Can't even bring up the word liberal or conservative without an outrage anymore. But apparently they all don't like him, because he's like a super liberal kind of dude. Yeah, and he's... Now, he's, like, like he's me mega fucking, liberal. Yeah. Uh, but, um... The he started writing. He he made a uh, a post or a, an article, sorry, about uh, Stan Lee and the comics, or at least mentioned him in the post. And it's a pretty long article from what I've seen, um, make calling it childish to like comics. And uh, Stan Lee pretty much just downgrading Stan Lee as an idol. And pissing anyone off who like comic books, and uh, basically he's just a hated dude now. Just genuinely a hated dude. Uh, God damn it, pineapple! If there's a liberal, then call Ben Shapiro. <laughs> that dude's <laughs> dude, actually oh. hilarious. I don't want to. He is funny. I don't want to get political. I'm not deep into either side, but I do lean right. And Ben Shapiro's funny. He is funny. Like even if sometimes he doesn't make a whole lot of sense, he's fucking funny. But no, uh, he actually was quoted as saying, well, writing, uh, America is in mourning, deep, deep mourning, for a man who inspired millions to, I don't know, watch a movie, I guess. What a dick. Yeah, like... Like, what did you inspire people to man. do? <laughs> w what do you want us to do? Yeah, like, if it was anybody else, would he have said the same thing? Like... No, if it was Hillary, you would have been like, oh, the most yeah. amazing person in the world is he, dead. Like, fuck you. She, she inspired people to go out and lie to their families. All right, I'm getting too political here. <laughs> not allowed to be political. This is gaming. You can't do that. Uh, sorry to anybody who's leftist. My bad. I don't um, hate you. I, I respect your liberal. opinion. I just, I just don't agree with it. <laughs> you can have your opinion. I'm just not going to talk to you about it. But um, how do you open up with that and not know that you are being a dick no 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 no. he knows he's gotten to a lot of backlash in the past man but my biggest thing is like if i'm gonna talk shit about somebody i'd rather do it to their face he literally can't do that he waited till the man died to start talking shit about him what a like colossal fucking arrogant like, shit lord like there's nothing i can call him other than a shit lord that's all he is yeah. yeah is he the ben shapiro of the left he's the ben i don't think he's that smart <laughs> he's definitely not that cool either so uh, but he did say like he had nothing against comic books but then he went on to say no. immediately after comics were for kids and when he grew up he moved on to big boy books without without the pictures i disagree uh -huh. i like the, i like the front cover of books generally i personally <laughs> prefer the spinal of the books because we've actually made this joke a lot before of on the podcast i think uh we have made this joke but we can make it again <laughs> I prefer the spine because that has less big words. But yeah, of course, being like a big like leftist person, he had to come after Donald Trump. Um, oh, yeah, because he's the reason for everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's tied into everything, man. He said, I don't think it's a huge stretch to suggest that Donald Trump could get elected in a country that thinks comic books um, are important. How I mean, do you go from that to that? Like, honestly? Tell, tell someone 10 years ago that movies weren't important, like TV wasn't important, before, like, internet was big. And all people had to do at their house was fucking watch TV. Like, a lot of us, it'd be like our parents' generation. Like, you know, they spend a lot of their time watching TV. It, are you going to say it's not important? Because if you're not being entertained by something, you're going to get some thoughts going on in your head. You might get a little bored, decide to, you know, get a gun. Like, That's why we have school shootings, man. Yeah, that's why we had, like, religion back in the olden days to distract people. Now we have TV and comic Honestly, books. Honestly, like, I don't see how you can 
be so arrogant. No, no. I, like as as someone who's supposed to be so smart and well regarded in the things that he does, to be that fucking arrogant is incredible. It it it, it amazes me that you can be that much of a colossal prick and not even care. Yup. Like I know oh. I'm a dick sometimes. I'm a dick usually, and but I, at least I know my limits. I know how far I, to go before I need to stop. Because you you don't do that. You don't just go out like right after someone who is so monumental in the world of comics and even movies now. If you go after him directly, the fucking day after he's dead. It was a day after, maybe yeah. two days, and call him out as someone who's like, oh, not even that important. Someone who's yeah, he did whatever. You know he had this already typed up, ready to go, like ten years ago. Oh, just... I'm sure he's just waiting. <laughs> he was just waiting he, for Stanley to he, be dead, so he can just stop he was, being a fucking shitlord. Yeah, he, he was just hoping that he didn't die first, so he could piss off more people. He's just waking up every day, oh, like dude. checking the news, like please, 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 please. Yeah, Jesus, like it, every every day for the last ten years, it was the, it was the first thing in a search history was <laughs> Stan, <laughs> Stanley Stanley Stan <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> Oh um, my God, Pineapple man. Snake asked if we like to judge books by their cover. Uh, like we said, I we like to judge it by, by the spine. spine. Uh, I also I like the other half of the spine, like the end of the pages. Um, secret yeah, I read the brief thing. summary at the end before I read the brief summary in the beginning, and then I read the entire. Yeah, book if you don't, them. if you don't read the last chapter first, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you read the last chapter. Then I want to know how the book actually, ends before I get um, into it because I don't like this myself there's actually a book that i read that the last chapter was also the first chapter um really yeah it was kind of interesting but then they had like an epilogue ah, after dude that reminds me of something just like that that i played it was uh there's a game like that where whenever you end it it starts off from the ending yeah like when you first start like it's the end of the game and then it goes yeah. back. Well, a lot of games do that, honestly. They go, they'll have like a thing of near the end of the game, or they'll have things like what Destiny does, where they show you what your character was like as a powerhouse, then they make him a little pussy again. Well, that's the thing because you didn't play Destiny One. Oh uh, yeah, that's your character no, no, from no, no. Destiny. No, no, no. 1. I played Destiny One on Xbox. Oh right, right, right. Well, that was supposed to be your character from Destiny One. I mean, that's not that's not quite what we were saying, Pineapple. But if that's what you want to go with, uh, what do you say? He said, uh, you guys were saying we have school shootings um, because not enough TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not exactly it. It's no, more of people are crazy, so if we don't have something to distract them... Statistically, violent crime has always slowly gone down. Um, of course, there's a few spikes here and there. But well, we can attribute that... Like... Well, we can attribute that to one, we're becoming more understandable that killing people is not a nice thing to do and oh, we're, and we're getting more and more ways to keep ourselves entertained and preoccupied are you trying like, to tell me killing nowadays, people is not always... a good thing because like if you're entertained and pre preoccupied it generally makes you happy and when you're happy generally, yeah. you don't generally go out and start killing people well you even happy. then it's 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 <laughs> honestly more of a hey i'm insane take care of me oh you're not going to i'm just gonna go shoot up the school yeah yeah I know, like, there's people who... And then we'll blame the guns. You're gonna have people that are super entertained by everything that they do, and they're still gonna go out and shoot people. Like, I don't care how many forms of entertainment we have out there, like, 200 years from now, it's still gonna happen. But, no, like, ugh. It's a hard argument to make. It really is. Um, fuck you, USA Today. Um, alright, so... Ranch, let's go on to, uh, fucking OBS. This is a really short thing, I thought it was fucking hilarious. This is super short. Uh, this dude, Disguised Toast, said, um, I've been using OBS Project for three years to stream now, and never really thought about how important it is, um, this free piece of, uh, how important this free piece of open software is. Um, with the help of it, OBS allowed me to build my stream and make a living. So I made a donation link, um, so they have a donation link, so I decided to show my appreciation. And he shared a screenshot of him on the stream donating $1,000 to OBS. That's which a is, lot of money. Yeah, that's really cool. This guy comes along... Uh, fucking Destiny, if you guys don't know who that is. And mm -hmm. fucking donates $1,001. <laughs> Which makes me happy. Disguised Toast took a screenshot of it, uploaded it, uh, and said, This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he should have posted a screenshot saying $1,002. <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> it makes me happy. Honestly, like, I don't know too much about the dude, but I know that Destiny is fucking hilarious. I see him, like, Twitch clips and stuff. I watch a lot of those. 
Yeah, I think the two of them, they're not, they're, it's like you and Costello. They don't work for the same, like, company or group, but they've done some, like, collabs and work together at times. Yeah. I'll have you know, we always work together. What we work for is each other. I'll have you know that our company, The Nutbox, is still growing and doing <laughs> well. So you take that back right now, mister. Eh. I mean, by the way, uh, good news. Last night we hit over 100 followers. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, at 103. Way to go, um, Jackbox party stream. Okay, well, when we ended the stream, we were at 102, and someone followed after. He was actually from Recluse's stream, so thank you, uh, Jay. Thanks Jay Hazel. Thanks for recommending Seeker and not me. Yeah, thanks to all you guys that are watching or listening on YouTube or wherever else we post this later on down the road. <laughs> this will be on YouTube before the year's Probably over, I promise. YouTube. Did you put the other episode out? Because I swear if you haven't, I'm going to have to I will promise to do it after stream. God damn it, man. I'll, You're like four I'll, weeks I'll, late. I'll probably preload the other ones to get them ready to go, too. No, just do them all at this point. <laughs> just yeah, upload them all late. in one day. Um, they were more than late, but right now we don't have much of a schedule for it because nobody really watches it on YouTube yet. I was going to put them up, but then I was I was like, hey, I, I, uh, one line I texted you saying, hey, I got them all up. I was expecting you to put them up after that as well because that was kind of the plan. Yeah, I'm dumb. A little bit. I'm not even gonna say that out loud, Pineapple. I, I can't. I can't keep that meme going. <laughs> oh yeah, during Seeker's dog stream. Oh, All right. Jesus. So this is gonna be a relatively shorter one, um, unless somebody else has a strong opinion on this. Final Fantasy oh, Thirteen. Definitely. I don't care then. Okay. <laughs> Have either of you guys played it? Nope. No. Okay. A lot of people hated Final it. Uh, it was. Well, yeah. it, it was technically a trilogy, and the main reason a lot of people hated it is that it was it was linear. And for Final Fantasy, linear is not a thing that they do. That, um, that sounds gross. That's like making a linear Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh wait, now they are. I played thirteen, and I fucking loved it. I did not love the fact that it was linear. I did not entirely love the combat, but the story was really fucking good. I agree. Um, and the cutscenes were really fucking good, and the characters were interesting except for Lightning. Um, which lightning is cute, dude. Oh yeah, you, probably. But like, I, <laughs> probably. I, I prefer her sister Sarah. Um, uh, lightning's better, in my opinion. But uh, she was she boring. Martyred, I'll say that. Although she did punch Snow multiple times, it makes me happy. You gotta give him props. Right? Isn't she gonna be in Kingdom Hearts Three? Lightning. The uh, she fucking better be. Yeah, it's that she she's like one of the people that got um, narded. Um, I. I am a damn. Is that your name? Oh, he said no. Dark I Souls. I, Dark Souls not linear. How dare you say Dark Souls is a linear game? You better explain yourself. Dark Souls yourself. is pretty linear. I have not Can. played much Dark Souls. I can't get it on this fight. Listen, Dark Souls is linear in the fact that you're not in a wholly open, a totally open world. You got to beat a boss to get to the next area. That's not open world. That's linear. You're going to one location. That's linear. From what I've seen of Dark Souls, I don't agree, but you've also played it, and I haven't really played much. Um, I've seen a lot of people that will, like, go back and do a lot of other shit and, like, grind out and stuff like that. But sure, I can but see how the main more, campaign... the same area. That's not going and opening up into exploring okay. new worlds. Yeah, you're going through the whole thing exploring, but it's a linear path towards one goal. Uh, he said, but you can access bosses through other places. It's open world. Um, you noob. It's barely open world. This is open world as it gets for a linear game. It's linear open world. You, we'll it's see, not completely open world. I, I wouldn't... I, I, from what little I know, I wouldn't cons consider it probably either. Like, I don't know, like, branching path linear? Like That's what I'm saying. It's linear open world. What do you consider that a branching path game? Then, yeah, yes, but that's what I'm saying. It's not a game oh, where... Oh, no, he... Costello is an addict with Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Especially don't Bloodborne. Me, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um... Let's go back to sleep. Jesus Christ, man. You gotta calm down. We try not to allow any toxicity here, man. Uh, yeah, uh, only I'm allowed to be toxic. A, a, a good argument's fine, but... Um... But, uh... No, so Final Fantasy XIII is the definition of linear. Um, until on... What I would call, call Disc 3, as I played on the 360, where Blu-ray wasn't a thing. Um... Oof. Yeah, so disc one and two, you're literally walking down a hallway. The meme was, they called it Final Hallway. Mm -hmm. um, and I can definitely see that. The game was really good, though. If you don't think about it as being a Final Fantasy game, it's really good. Um, right, but that's now, not how it once works. you get to the third Final disc, yeah. once you get to the third disc, you reach a different planet, literally, um, where the world actually becomes open world, but it's not super large, and it's not... It's not Final Fantasy. 
Well, they ended up releasing 13.2, which was, in my opinion, much better. However, the story got a lot worse. Um, they added time travel into it. Uh, and it made it entirely too confusing. You really, if anyone, if you're out of ideas, if you're a game developer and you're <laughs> out of ideas, do not add time travel. It will yep. only make it worse. So they made it way too confusing. Uh, then they made Lightning Returns. Now, at the end of 13.2, with spoilers, um, was actually one of my favorite scenes from the entire series is where everything is ending and it's all happy. Like, they beat everything. The world's going to return to normal. And then Sarah falls over and dies. Um, and so does Mog. Uh, because, really well, it's because uh, she was she was born of the goddess. She is um, uh, uh, basically right, that thing. Um, Noel ends up killing Caius and Kai inside of Caius's body is the goddess's heart. When he killed right. Caius, he killed um, Sarah and essentially doomed the world. Right. Um, okay. This stream is not about our opinion. It's about their opinion. Your opinion. no, no, no. I actually, I actually welcome people to come out here and dispute stuff. No, um, give your opinion all, by all means. But if your opinion yeah. is that Dark Souls is open world, you're just wrong. Yeah, pineapple. I openly agree to let people come out here and dispute stuff. Just don't make petty insults. That's what I'm not okay with. Um, no insults to character. No petty insults. Like you can have a civil discussion. Wait, was I insulted? Yeah, he called you a noob and a poser. <laughs> A noob and a poser. Dude, I have over 300 <laughs> hours logged into all each. No, no I, a lie. I agree on the noob part. But, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have. Um, I'm kidding. You kick, you, you kick my ass about. about you kick my ass in like anything we've played. So So far, yeah. It's Although, so that's not so true in Destiny. You know a lot more about Destiny, but you die all the fucking time. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so bad at PC Destiny, man. That's so weird. It's like, Yoshi, I, I, I guess it's because I'm not used to playing Titan, but it, when I play Warlock, I'm fine. You Yoshi, during our last stream, I made a joke about how every time I hear Guardian down, my first thought is Costello. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately after that, he died. Yeah, You're not even wrong. Like I don't know why I'm dying so much. I guess I'm not used to PC yet or playing Titan because yeah. I want to be able to heal myself. So, anyways... <laughs> yeah, my uh, excuse is I'm not good at the game. <laughs> after 13.2, they released Lightning Returns, which people loved, and I was okay with. I never ended up beating it. It has even more to do with time travel. Um, and the world all met is like, kind of cool, seeing these characters, like, changed a lot. Like, Noel kind of became evil, and Snow really became evil. Um... Hope right. is now working. Yeah, Hope is literally now working with God. Um, uh, yeah, God's a character. God's um, a character. Got it. Oh, and it's not Wait, aren't like there, aren't there gods though? Like there's ba uh, Bahamut and and, uh, and and sort of. The idea is that God actually made them and all that, but no. so there's a God of the gods. Yeah, and he, like, he doesn't have like a specific name. His name is God. Like that is his, his name. His name is just and, God. But... And Lightning does not like him. <laughs> of course not. Why would you? I guess. Well, he's basically, he's, you know, he's, he's basically forcing her to do his dirty work. Oh, okay, I got you. So he's, she's his slave, or her, his secretary. Secretary? <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually Hope. Hope is his fucking secretary. I don't know but who no, Hope is, but yeah, um, funny joke. Lightning Returns was, no, he's literally the fucking secretary. You go to, like, this fucking place where Hope is at, and he basically tells you what God wants you to do. Like... <laughs> Dude, that's actually sick. I want to play this game now. Okay, Can we do so, it on stream? Can we so play the, it on stream? The idea, I, I actually have it on PC. Um, but Sweet. no, the idea is that it's more time-based. Um, it's actually action combat rather than turn-based. Um, okay. And the combat was actually really fun. What I didn't like was that the game was basically timed. You have so many days to save a certain number of people or else you basically lose the game. Um, I don't like that. That's the opposite of what Final Fantasy people want is, hey, can you make it to where I have to rush through the game? <laughs> yeah, that's um, my favorite part. So I feel like I don't know. Two was much better gameplay-wise. Lightning Returns is very different gameplay-wise. The first one was really good. Okay, no, before matter... we continue, which one's your favorite out of all of them? <sighs> and if it's not seven, tell me why it's seven. Out of all Final Fantasy games? Yes. Okay, I love seven, but it's which overrated. Which one's your favorite and why is it seven? Well, it's not seven. Um, I don't like it because it's overrated. I'm tired of fucking seeing it. Um, I, actually, <laughs> I actually love ten and... I hate to say this because it makes some people here mad. Thirteen is like tied with ten with me. Um, just okay. for the story. Now for real, why is it seven? It's not <laughs> seven. Although seven was really good. Like I loved a lot of. Here's seven. the thing though: Cloud is a cool character, but he's overrated. Yeah. 
Uh, God damn it, Gary, I fucking hate you. Um, my favorite. I mean, so no, the, the Noctis isn't even like out of Final Fantasy people. Noctis is such a fucking boring character. I'm I'm sorry if you like Noctis, but he's boring as dicks. Yeah, I agree. If you guys have watched the movie, it's really good. And then you would play the game, and you're like, "What the fuck is this whiny little kid?" Yeah, honestly, he's just he's just emo king man at that point. I I've beaten 15, and I got about halfway through a second playthrough of it on PC. Um, I want to go back there and actually stream it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, dude. That's such a it, long game. What is IX? Is that eight? IX I, is nine. That's nine. Isn't it? No, XI would be nine. I'm IX bad at throwing numerals, man. Eleven. You're right. You're right. Um, with fucking Squall, that one's really fucking good. I never played it. Um, I actually played a version of it with a mod that uh, a bunch of like voice actors went over and redubbed the whole game. That's amazing. Because the game doesn't have voice acting. Oh, I figured. Aside from during select few cutscenes and stuff. Um, it's nine. I fucked up on. <laughs> God damn it. Um, what one was nine? Oh, what was it on? Um, Final Fantasy Nine. Yeah, that's the Don. Okay, I actually haven't played it. Um, I only know of him because of Final Fantasy of the City. Um, but no, long long story short, they're basically really really re-releasing the game with Xbox One with, ver with reverse backwards compatibility, so you can actually go buy the games for really cheap at GameStop or wherever else, and it, now it'll work in your Xbox One. Not only that, well, it sounds like okay, cool. Now I can play it if I didn't own a 360. They're actually upping the graphics without you having to buy a special version of the game. You just buy the regular version of the game, and thanks to Xbox One X, I think, and I'm not sure if it works on the regular one, um, they're upping the graphics of all three games. Um, That's good. Right. But, I don't know, the, the games were fun. People hated them, I think, more than they, they deserved because it was weird for a Final Fantasy game. Okay, let's say Fallout 76 doesn't suck, all right? It, uh, it's uh, like <laughs> it's like if people hated on that just because it's not a regular Fallout game. Like, no, say, yeah, that's fair. But right. um, no, the hate it's, hate the Dark hate it's getting too. is not necessarily because of that. PlayStation no, it's One, it's yeah, a yeah, shit game. Yeah, I don't, I don't fully agree at this point. I haven't played it, so I can't make up my mind on that yet. Uh, I got a friend with the code. Let me play it a little bit. Mm, <laughs> don't like it. All right, so let's move on. Um, alright, this one's short, but Costello might appreciate it, or might not. Oh, can't wait, what is it? Assassin's Creed is selling wine. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, it, it looks like, eat, like, how many there are there? There are seven different bottles, and for some reason, why? The chick from Liberation yeah. gets a different shaped bottle than all of the other ones. She wasn't even in a very. She wasn't even a game. She was in a DLC that was yeah. about two hours long. So they have Ezio, Bayek, Connor for some reason. It probably Connor. tastes like poison. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. He killed himself. <laughs> yes, yeah, it probably tastes like poison. Uh, Altair, <laughs> Arno, and what's if your Alka face? Alka Air isn't twelve years aged and fucking. <laughs> If French is, for wine or some shit. I'm gonna be upset because he it, deserves the. If it isn't wine. 12 years aged and full of glitches, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't make me want to kill myself by the end of drinking it, I don't want. <laughs> I, I kind of hope uh, Arno, because that's from Unity. I hope that one is just water. Like fuck, guys, you poured the wrong thing. It's it's water that <laughs> tastes, fucked up the code. Uh, that occasionally tastes like grapes. Uh, but it's from a company he called. Was the only French one too. Yeah, it's from a company called Lot 18. They're a fucking winemaker, obviously. Um, but they're only 20 bucks each, which actually is not bad. Um, I kind of want to go by Arno. Like, oh, like, it's kind of awesome. Um, I don't know why Bayek and why they're not doing the characters from um, the new game. Sometimes you get a full grape in your bottle. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I think Costello died again. Now I'm here, I'm just listening to the bullshit. Alright. <laughs> Do I have a fucking another message on here? Oh, it's fucking Seymour. Where does Seymour want? He asked if I ever took a big a big boop that makes you feel gay. No, oh, Jesus, <laughs> I hate that meme. It, it's so old. <sighs> Seymour, get better content. I mean, have you? Yes. I mean, uh... <laughs> but no, there's not a huge thing around this. I actually might buy one of these. I'm not huge on wine, but I do like wine, so... 
Just, yeah. Just I mean, I, I don't, I don't drink clearly because I'm not old enough. But um, no, not a fan of wine anyway. I'm okay with it. Like I, I like wine a hell, a whole, a hell of a god damn it, a lot more <laughs> than beer. I can't. Dude. English is hard. Yeah, no, I hear you there. I'm not a huge on the like, oh, hardcore manly drinks. Oh yeah, um, well, I'm I pretty. I drink with you, I, Gary. Well, last time it. you came over and drank with us, you tried to burn down my house. That's not. I did burn down my house. No, he was asking us for hairspray and a lighter, and I'm like, man, like, no, you're drunk. <laughs> wow. Uh, he always gets mad and never bring it up, so I'm ready for him to get mad in chat. Nice, but yeah, I'm more into the, like, uh, I drink daiquiris. <laughs> So, I mean, I can't blame you. They're good. They are good. Fuck you if you blame me. Like, yeah, drink what you want. Just enjoy what you want to drink. Drink because you're, you're not drinking because you like the taste. Drinking, don't be a pussy. Let's see. Uh, oh, really? Look at fucking chat, Yoshi. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, I don't time have words. Time to hit Costello right in his uh, PlayStation. We've been, oh, why is this one all about the ones I hate? Come on. Yeah, hitting you right in the PlayStation. Um, uh, they're skipping E3 2019. Yeah, I know. Um, for the first time in 24 years. Mm. Yeah. Um, if now, I'm honest, before we continue, yeah, let me get into this a little bit. With my my relationship with Sony has been going down the fucking drain, man. Ever since they said, hey, fuck you, you want to play with your friends? Well, you all got to have PS4, too. You can't yeah. have fun with other people on Xbox because you're not allowed to enjoy anything anymore. Plus hey, Fortnite, the fucking though. Mod thing. Yeah. Plus the fucking mod thing. Like, hey, you, you, you love mods on PC, right? Well, we're going to bring it to we're going to bring it to Xbox. Hey, you love mods on Xbox and PC, right? We're going to let you use vanilla only assets on PlayStation. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Like Sony, Sony's actively trying to get their consumer fan base or consumer base away from them. It feels like because the the only time they've been like for us is with their exclusives, and that's not enough for some people. The Xbox is able to play with PC, and that sounds like a lot of fun. There, like I just bought Skyrim Special Edition because it was on sale for the Black Friday sale event, which is live now. If you love PlayStation 4, I would recommend going to buy something because it's like up to like 60, 80 percent off. I saw games for 90 percent off on there. Shit games, but 90 percent off. Uh, Battlefield the Hardline is five fucking dollars right now. So if you want to play oh, that damn. garbage game, yeah, there was a uh, there was a game for a dollar too. <laughs> I was gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I didn't like it. Um, but, yeah. there's The only mods I can get were like, hey, the game looks prettier, maybe. Or, hey, here's yeah. a follower that looks like all the other followers in the game, just with some different armor. Or Yeah, like, they can't even add voice acting to it. It has to be vanilla assets. No, yeah. You can, they, there's AI updates uh, they've done, which is all cool. Pineapple, you should be fine. There's, uh, there's updates for, like, um, better, better combat and more version. And then there's cheats, which are, there's so many goddamn cheats. There's, the one I do enjoy, though, is there's rings you can put on that make you do different, like, emotes. Like, you can play the loot and stuff, and I love it. Yeah. But well, the thing no is, like, mud crabs. well, like, those emotes and stuff are actually already in the game. They're just not player accessible without the mod. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Excuse me. That's what I'm saying. Like that, yeah. that's such a cheap thing to do. Is just there. There is one thing I love. <laughs> they, they use the trick with that in uh, Fallout 4. Uh, they made these like uh, mats that you can make. You can even make them invisible if you want to. Where uh, basically it makes it, it forces whoever interacts with a mat to use that emote. So like, let's say you want to have someone working on a fucking wall. You can put a mat against the wall, make it that emote, and then like hammering a wall. Um, then you can make one of your followers go to it and assign them to it, and they'll just work on that wall forever. Dude, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but you can do really, some really cool stuff with that, make this thing, like, how you want it to look. They got Battlefield 1 for free with gold right now. Yeah, I've actually been playing it, Gary. Yeah, uh, fuck you. Um, <laughs> what we got was Bulletstorm, so you oh my god, edgy, edgy cursing and okay, I actually people... But before, understand this is before I had internet accessible daily to look things up. That game looked okay to me when I saw it at fucking GameStop and I bought it. And I beat it, but holy fuck was it bad. They were just trying to be Gears of War and failing. They, they weren't trying to be Gears of War, they were trying to be funny I, Gears of War. I actually had a friend who was pretty big into it, 
And you can like compare your scores in this like arena against your friends. So I did one round of the arena and beat his score. And I felt bad because uh, it was my first time doing the arena. <laughs> your friend should feel bad, and he is bad. Uh, but, uh, no. So what they ended up saying, this is like a quote through them. Now, this this was like one of those fucking politician things where like they ask a hey, question. Hey, you can't get political. Well, like they ask a question, and then the response has nothing to do with the question. Um, oh, yeah? so Sony, whoever, I don't know who they're referring to when they say Sony said this, but, um, they said, as the industry evolves, Sony Interactive Entertainment continues to look for the intuitive opportunities to engage with the community. PlayStation fans mean the world to us, and we always want to innovate, um, think differently and experiment with new ways to delight gamers. So far, nothing negative, right? As a result, we have decided not to participate in E3 2019. As a result of what? As a result of you trying to innovate, think differently, and experiment with new ways to delight gamers, we're going to not show you new games. Yeah, um, I don't understand what they're thinking. It said we I'm are... Gonna... Oh, shit. Uh, it said we are exploring... Fuck, I lost it. We are exploring new and familiar <laughs> ways to engage our community in 2019 and can't wait to share our plans with you. Are they going to do a fucking Blizzard and try to make their own fucking E3? Yeah, I... can't wait for another Tana TanaCon. Mud crabs that sound like Zoidberg is my favorite mod ever. It's fucking great. No nut, bo yeah, no like, nutbox in November. Train. That's a good idea. We'd have to not do the nutbox today, did man. Did we seriously not do no nut? No, 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 oh my god, dude! How did we Serious not think of that? <laughs> no nut, not but but. <laughs> yeah, man. No. I only have to stream four days a week instead. No nutbox November would have made so much sense. Except fuck you, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I don't know, like, if they're gonna try we'll do to do their, year. if they're gonna do, like, their, like, own, like, fucking Blizzard thing, or whoever else does that, they always, like, there's always that one person who doesn't do E3, they do their own show that no one goes to. Um, who was it that Tanacon. did that last year? Was it Activision that did it? Uh, somebody held no their, them, probably? somebody held their, like, E3 event <laughs> thing the day before E3, like, next door to where E3 took place. That's fu dude. If that's uh, not pity, uh, pettiness, I don't know what it. Is. That's I, I know. Hilarious. Means they aren't what? going. It means that they ain't got nothing to show. Yeah, like they're not gonna like. I don't know, man. The difference between Blizzard branching off and doing their own thing, and then other places that Blizzard could actually do it successfully, because they have their own like series of games. I guess you could. Oh say. yeah, and they have they a have fucking a cult following. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> But then you have Sony, who just like people like them because they have a they they do have a better console than Xbox, but they have terrible support. Um, like I agree, I like the UI more. I like the console more because it has better specs. Although that's not true with PS4 Pro. Um, but support's terrible. But no, like that's my big thing. PS4 Pro release said we can do 4K. That was a lie. They cannot do native 4K. They actually have to downscale in order to do 4K. Um, so in the Xbox One X release, they can actually do native 4K. That was actually like, oh, cool. Someone's actually doing it. Although 4K gaming is just fucking dumb, man. Like you're sacrificing so much fucking frame rate. Just like I'd rather have 60 FPS than 4K. I would rather have 60 FPS than the constant 29 FPS that I get with when I play Overwatch. Um, the next November you just do double Jackbox. Honestly, double Jackbox, Jackbox like, dude. Come on. After the after yesterday's stream with Jackbox, I I wouldn't. I was tempted to do that again today, but then you know, podcast. I had to remind you. You didn't remind me. We actually had a podcast today. Okay. Anybody here watching, if you're in the Discord, you already saw where I had said that I'm not going to be streaming today. I forgot about the podcast. Um, then Costello posted a article in our like discussion feed thing, and I was like, fuck! <laughs> and I ran here and started getting shit ready, so my bad. Yeah, he's the unprofessional one. I know exactly what I'm doing, but yeah. I still have less followers. I'm just here. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi's just here. Hi, Yoshi. Yeah, thank uh, you for filling in for Seymour, who never shows up. Oh, you're welcome. Do we really mind? No, I don't. <laughs> Him and Stax are playing Overwatch right now, so... Oh, wow, I'm oh. glad they're professional, too. Stax, get in here. Stax's fucking stream was great, man. Oh, yeah, no, the, just her face you stream. Gotta have one stream of her every month. And, or two. And, and anybody watching, Stax decided to do a stream for some reason, and instead of showing gameplay, she just bought her phone and streamed from that, and it was just no, her face. No, gameplay a little. Yeah, kinda. Well, it's just her face while she's playing Overwatch. Like, I get she's not trying to like, do anything fucking professional or anything, but I thought it was funny. 
She had great hair. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, en enough shitting on PlayStation, because personally, like, I don't have any it major issue old. with them. <laughs> I can give you a major. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we got two things left. For I forgot this article is in here. We could have segued to this earlier. Um, back to Final Fantasy, sort of. Um, death of Final Fantasy 15 DLC memorialized in a mod. So, if you guys don't know, fucking what's his name? What's the dude's name? He's fucking awesome. Oh, I can't remember his name. He's, he's, he's not. That name. They don't even mention him in the fucking article. Basically, Final Fantasy 15 was in development for a long fucking time. It was failing miserably. If you guys saw the old trailers for 15, it was actually called 13 Verses. Um, and it was so much different. It was super dark. And, like, you think this game's dark. Um, and it was actually supposed to be Noctis against Lunafreya. Um, as, like, opposing kingdoms. And uh, a lot of things happened. And basically, this dude took over. I can't remember his name. He's fucking awesome. Um, and said, okay, you guys, you guys suck. And he took over direction of the game and turned it in, into what it is now. Um, he's worked on a lot of Final Fantasy stuff, along with a lot of just other games in general. He actually just left Square Enix. Um, which is real great, because they had already announced a bunch of DLCs coming out. That being Episode Noctis, a mod organizer, because they actually support mods. Yeah. Um, episode Arena, Episode uh, Arden, and I don't remember the other one. Is it listed so this here? Is all for fifteen. Episode Luna. Um, yeah, they were all going to be DLCs that were releasing. Um, so what happened to them? Well, now only one of them is releasing. That's Episode Arden, which what? makes me happy because I want to see Episode Arden. Um, it's Arden's being... great. No, don't get me wrong. Arden's uh, Arden Lucius kind of cool, but um... so essentially without his direction, Luna, they... dude. Yeah, but without his direction, they're basically just saying fuck it. So, they officially cancelled all of them, including the fucking model organizer. But I wanna so, know what Luna was doing the whole time. Yeah... Like, we got- we got Ignis, and we got Prompto, and we got... Gladio. What happened to him, by the way? When did he get that scar across his face? Cause I don't yeah, think- I, I didn't play Gladio. Did, you, you didn't play it? It was actually fucking awesome, man. Like, if you like Dark Souls, that's the fucking DLC you wanna play. Alright, we'll, <laughs> we'll get it then. It's like all boss fights. Um, oh shit. Yeah, he he literally fights. Uh, was it Gilgamesh? Gilgamesh. Yeah, and gets that cut in all his face. Oh. Um, but no, essentially, yeah. Okay, here it is. Episodes: Arden, um, Arena, Luna, and Noctis. Um, Who's Arena again? Uh, the the girl that looks like lightning. Like the bounty oh, hunter you girl. Oh, the dragon girl. Yeah. And Ariana. Yeah. Um. Dude, on... that's uh, dude. There's so much fan art of her and uh, Ignis. Yeah. She's actually fucking awesome. Like, that's the one I was she looking forward ass. to. I love her. Because we know nothing about her. Right. Like, nothing. Other than the fact that she turned her ideas around for a little bit. I think that's what the episode is supposed to be like. Oh, maybe it's like covering why she turned her ideas from bad guys to good guys. But this part made it worse. Uh, this guy straight up said, um, I could handle the loss of the episodes fairly well, but after hearing that the Windows Edition production was concluded, it was like another more painful slap in the face. So they released it for PC. Um, unlike on console, uh, they were actually able to release the engine with the full graphics, because if you guys don't know, when they make games, they make multiple different graphics settings, and then they figure out which one works best for console players, which is generally downscaled. Um, and they go with that one. Well, when they released on PC, they could play the full thing, which made it look fucking awesome. Um, well, they were supposed to be adding more and more support for it, including a mod organizer and a level building tool. Um, and nope, that's gone too. So there's no yeah. fun anymore. No, that doesn't mean the modding is dead. People already, there's already a lot of modding tools out there people have already made. Um, okay. there's not an official one now. So this Whoa. dude, a modder, Mr. Saturn two forty one is my hero. He Why made you call a call him out, man. Uh, all joking, right. <laughs> he made a fucking graveyard. Oh. With here lies episode Noctis, here lies episode Arena, here lies episode Luna, here lies mod organizer, and here lies consumer trust. That's beautiful, man. Like oh, a it makes me happy. Like... In the game, it's a mod. In the game, oh, okay. there's you can install a mod. Where there's a graveyard. That's actually fucking great. Just saying, if I'm playing through this game again, because I've, I've been talking about streaming it, um, I have to get this mod. I agree. And just based on the screenshots, it looks like it's at uh, 
the first, the, where you go to get your first uh, fucking weapon. What are those called again? The powerful weapons that like drain your health to use them. The king, the king's arms, is that what they're called? Yeah, the king's arms. Um, it's, it looks like it's on the pathway to get your first one when you're working with, uh... God, I can't remember, like, any, any Oh, you mean names. It, it starts out when you get your first one. I've had this question. God damn it, I've... Pineapple. We're no longer friends. Don't post, don't post those lyrics. Um... But, yeah, this just fucking hurts, man. Like, they... they on the upside, there is so much fucking content. They were releasing shit one after another. And, um, so, like, so for somebody like me, who this is one of the game reasons I got an Xbox, um, I bought the Season Pass, so all future DLC was, you know, free after that. Then it comes out on PC, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why do I want all my Xbox and play it on my fucking computer? Well, <laughs> DLC is free on PC. So... That's... Wait, so you guys get Episode Ignis for free? Yes. What the fuck, man? All of it is free. I gotta pay $30 for all of them. Yeah, all of it's free. Um, and I believe it's because of the fact that it didn't release alongside the console release. It came out, like, months and months later. Um, so did ours. No, like, the game. Oh, well, yeah. So they were like, hey, like, sorry the game came, like, a year late. Here's the DLC. Fuck you. Um, I already bought it, so I, I can't, like... <laughs> I actually already bought it on Xbox, and now I'm never going to fucking touch it again. Whatever, man. Also, I'm the kind of guy that loves fishing in games, but I didn't like the fishing minigame in this at all. Dude, same! I, oh my god, I was I was saying the same thing. I did not like it, but I like to fish normally. But, like, a lot of people were, like, saying, this isn't a Final Fantasy game either. Like, no, that's the thing with Final oh, Fantasy. Shit. The games are always different. People are like, well, this isn't, like, 7, so it's not Final Fantasy. A lot of them have played a lot different, man. Like, if you don't think it's like Final Fantasy 7, think you about say how Final Fantasy 5. Think about Final Fantasy 3 versus 1 and 2. This is using Japan's number system, because I don't remember which one 3 was for us. Um, I actually started uh, playing it again uh, recently, right. emulated it on my phone. Um, Are you saying you're pirating games? No! But, like, <sighs> Final Fantasy 1 and I believe 2, I could be wrong, they didn't have the ATB system, which is like the action time combat or whatever it's called. It was. It was purely turn-based. Then three released, and now you actually have to, like... There's a bar that fills before you can choose what your character is going to do, and it makes it more of a fight against time. But think about how they felt. Like, this isn't Final Fantasy. Like, they said that with every other game, man. Final Fantasy like, 15 is more Final Fantasy than Final Fantasy 13. Yes. But sorry that they're changing things, but, like, it it's still a great series. Like, if you like the older ones, then play the older ones. Like, I can't blame you for not liking the newer ones if it's not your kind I of thing. I absolutely loved Final Fantasy XV, so... Yeah, you... I I was one of those people. I fucking loved it. I loved it, too, man. It was a lot of fun to play. Maybe it's not as Final Fantasy XV okay. and there's Final Fantasy as Final Fantasy, on, but it was a, a good game. On a side note, I need to call out and thank uh, my manager real quick, because it actually has to do with this game. Uh, I'm not going to give out his full name, but Michael... Um, because Thanks, he, he fucking helped me out with this, alright? So, I pre-ordered the game. I was gonna go to the midnight release. You guys know I live in Pigeon Forge. Well, if you guys have heard of the Gatlinburg fires, it was that night that the game released. So, oh. not only you get your game. were we dealing with these fires and shit, I couldn't even go home. Uh, a, so tree, in your office? a tree had fallen down on the way to my house, and there was only one path to get there. So I actually had to go stay with my parents that night. Well, oh, okay. there was smoke all over Pigeon Forge. Like, it was really bad. Uh, it, it, a lot of bad shit was basically happening. I was like, I am not going out to fucking GameStop. I am going home. Well, he had actually pre-ordered it as well, and he had to go that way. Anyways, that's where he lived. So I gave him my shit, and he picked it up for me and brought it to work the next day. So that was fucking awesome. <laughs> um, so it sucks they didn't get a midnight release, but according to him, they didn't do a shit for it. Right. Like, midnight releases should be, like, somewhat exciting, but no, you just show up at your game and left, like... Yeah. I mean, what are they gonna do, man? Like, oh, fishing games in have Minecraft. Go. Yeah, Pineapple, fishing in Minecraft is the best reason to play Minecraft, right? <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Last topic, uh, Costello, uh, uh -huh. YouTube versus Red Dead Redemption. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, so y'all, if you've been on the internet in the past, I think months maybe you know what Red Dead Redemption 2 is if you have been on YouTube within the past month 
You know, there's these videos going around of people pushing over that one feminist that's trying to get equal rights. And if you know about that, then you know YouTube, you probably know YouTube's been banning those videos, has been taking them off their website. Yeah, you thought, oh, they're just being an asshole, right? Well, apparently they're saying it was an accident. It's all How big mistake. Yeah. Which is, which is, we're not intentionally taking down videos that just so happen to be the same thing. We're just, it's just a big accident. No, fuck you. You're doing it on purpose, now you're trying to cover yourself up. That's what I think is going on here, but, you know, whatever. Well, if you guys don't know, one of YouTube's head executives is actually a big feminist. Uh, who the f- are you surprised? Yeah. Are you surprised? Um, but, basically, there are a lot of videos about women, mostly, like, the feminist women in the game, being, and this is just a list of a few videos of women being fed to an alligator, dropped on a mine shaft, shot in the face and fed to pigs, tied up on a railway track and over by a train, and set on fire. <laughs> um, but people were making jokes in the comments about how it was possible to assault a feminist in this way. I mean, yeah, it's the fucking comment section on YouTube. It's like expecting, like, play Call of Duty and not get somebody, like, being toxic as shit. You expect to go to the yeah. YouTube comment section and see, oh man, this is not okay. <sighs> it's It's like going on the internet and saying, uh, or uh, not expecting to be either yelled at called the n-word or saying someone slept with her mother yeah so youtube actually had removed eight of these videos uh, out of 10 clips youtube had removed eight of them leaving two of them because the suffragette was beaten but not killed uh because oh, that's worse yeah um one of those videos actually led to a dude getting four hundred and seventy-three thousand subscribers like holy fuck um, they said the, U the channel's UK-based owner was initially told that he was being banned from owning or setting up other accounts. Like, holy shit. Um, they said all the creator's videos have since been restored, including clips of other characters being attacked in Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, so at least, like, his shit's back. Because, I mean, if I got 473,000 subscribers from a single video, and then they deleted my account, I'd be a little mad. Oh, I definitely would, too. But the biggest argument here is that the rules are vague. I don't even feel like this is necessarily an issue with vagueness. This is just YouTube being YouTube, man. Like... Yeah. But like I said, I can see that many creators... That the guidelines are not being for enforced even-handedly, often taking their... Either a massive outrage online or interest for mainstream media to get... Uh, to take notice. Um... I hate to bring this up, but I actually have seen... Uh, not this article, but the one where they first talked about the videos getting banned. Um, I hate to bring a fucking Jake Paul, but somebody had pointed out that he literally filmed a dead body, and his account did not get banned. Like, they didn't suspend him, they didn't threaten to not let him upload more videos. This dude kills a chick in a video game. They delete his videos, delete his account, and tell him he can, not longer, can no longer make any new accounts. Like... Sorry, I didn't know that killing someone in a game, which is generally the point of games, was worse than showing an actual dead body. But it's just showing favoritism, man. Like, yeah, Jake, you know, Jake Paul Jake brings Paul's in the... Such a cool person. He brings in the they YouTube wanna, money. They don't people are talking about their, this... Uh, top people. They right. They're top people up there, I mean. It, the, uh, like we were discussing right before we started the podcast, dude named Keem is a vlogger. Not Keem Star. Don't be confused. Uh, is claiming that it will be the Gamergate 2.0. Yep, that made me happy. Um, I like you were saying with Keem, another guy actually stepped up to speak up about this. Uh, he's kind of a smaller YouTuber, his name is PewDiePie. Um, he actually spoke up about it, um, basically saying, wh wh where was that quote? Do you, do you have that? Um. Oh, um, nope, never yeah, mind. I thought I saw right it. here. We included the vlogger PewDiePie. Oh, there's not a quote. Play. No, that's he, not he just retreated the complaint by one of YouTube's creators who accused YouTube of unfair treatment. Um, Which is fair. Like, he's probably one of the best, the best advocates for YouTube unfairly treating people because he's always got such a... He's, I mean, he's he's in it. Like, he's part of the unfair treatment. Even though well, he's, he's not like really the, anymore. Well, no, not anymore. But all I'm saying is, like, he, he's been within the whole youtube right. fucking him over kind of thing he started he, he recognizes it he's starting the movement for youtube being fucked it's gonna be hard to say that he started out small but he did he just grew quick um but he's he but he started out small he grew quick because people liked his content 
Um, then he, he started seeing all that favoritism. Then he made one mistake and YouTube completely fucking dropped the ball on him. And now he's seeing what it's like to be big and not be favored. And like, yeah, like I might not enjoy his content, but he's an awesome dude. Um, and like, I feel like if anybody has an opinion that they're allowed to voice on it, it's him. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Uh, with YouTube, you always get fucked over. Yeah, man, that's why, like, with the netbox and stuff, I need to get better at uploading to YouTube. Unless we somehow get big on YouTube with a fucking netbox, I don't care about monetizing it, because I know you might see a dollar. Like... <sighs> yeah. I, my, my goal is to not make money on YouTube, man. Like, if I can make it on Twitch, I'm good. Like, fuck if YouTube. You both. If I can do both, then cool. But fuck YouTube. Like... Fuck, fuck. There's a reason that people are trying to make, like, other platforms to fucking, uh, derail them. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, who is, like, the biggest tech YouTuber. How many... Let me go to his channel. Let's see how many fucking subs he has. Um, he, they... Okay, technically, um, he's, he's affiliated with it, but he technically doesn't have anything to do with it. They're at 7.3 million subs. Um... His old, like, right-hand man, who is no longer, um, technically an employee of LTT... Um, left for this reason, basically a separation of business, so that way they want to get in trouble with YouTube. Um, they started their own platform called Float Plane Club, um, which is basically just YouTube without any of the fucking restrictions. Um, but it's almost like Twitch in a way where you can like pay to sub to people and stuff like that. Um, now I'm not, I haven't looked at it into it a whole lot, um, just because I haven't really bothered. Um, a lot of them are obviously a lot of their, like, other tech YouTubers getting on there. Um, but this is just one example of people trying to go against YouTube because they're a bunch of cucks. Yeah. I mean, if you have your biggest tech YouTuber that 7.3 million subs saying, hey, fuck this platform. Maybe the um, platform ain't too good. Okay, here's another thing. YouTube does not allow you to stream on YouTube and anywhere else at the same time. It actually violates their TOS. Um, well, yeah, Linus... So they, don't allow, they don't allow you to shout out your own stream. So, like, people post videos like, yep. this is not a shout out to my stream, but if you do want to check that out, we're live right now. Yep. Well, Linus actually streams on both anyways, at the same time, during his How? podcast, The Wind Show. How did he do that? I mean, he literally builds computers for a living. I'm sure he can figure it out. That's true. He can figure it out? Th this, this guy Just... makes millions of dollars off of a hobby. Like, <laughs> uh, an expensive well, hobby. Some people, some people don't consider building computers a hobby more of a I job. Do. I definitely do. Well, that's because you don't earn money off of it. Yeah, but for him, point, for him, it's earn, definitely a hobby. It's like something he's always been into. Doing your hobby than your job, then why? Why is it still just a hobby at that point? I feel like you still consider a hobby even whenever you're getting paid. Um, because you still enjoy it. I guess, but that's just work you enjoy then. Because I'll never consider a job enjoyable. <laughs> well, yeah. That's because you're not doing what you love. Uh, what I would love to do is take a nap. That could be your job. Some people get paid to do nothing, like Kim Kardashian. God damn it. He's not wrong. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty. That was a pretty good one there. Thanks, man. But yeah, like, this Red Dead shit was just stupid. Um, it's always stupid. Everything's stupid. I, I actually right? remember, um, this was another incident a while back. There was a YouTuber who had uploaded gameplay of a really old basketball game, right? No commentary NBA. on it. No, like, old basketball game. Like, oh. I'm talking, like, SNES kind of thing. Really? Um, like, 2D? Yeah, I don't fucking know what it was called. Oh, you see, I thought yeah. you meant an actual basketball um, game. No, well, like, no. there's no... There's no commentary over it, no nothing there. Just like a clip of him playing this basketball game. Like, you don't even know who the fuck uploaded the video. Um, well, a certain small TV show called Family Guy decided to have a bit where Peter picks a character in the basketball game who was known to have basically a glitch where he can make, f uh, like, free throws and always hit in the net no matter what. Um, and so Peter picks this character, they tell him not to pick, and then he keeps winning, and yada yada, it's funny, whatever. They use that dude's clip. Really? <laughs> um, That's actually really cool. Well, this is where it gets bad. One, they did not, like, say we use this dude's clip. Um, two, YouTube removed the clip 
claiming that he was infringing on copyright of Family Guy. Are you serious? Oh my god. I hate YouTube so, so much. So, people started sending fucking death threats to... What's the guy's name? The guy who fucking writes the goddamn show? I can't remember uh, his name. It's Seth McFarlane. Yeah, Seth McFarlane. People like sending him death threats and shit, to which he responded, like, guys, you think I write the plot for every episode? Um... Yes? No. <laughs> um... But, like... They had nothing to do with it. It was YouTube's algorithm that picked up on it. Um, yeah, no, so I'm sure. obviously the producers of Family Guy, like they started like tweeting out, like sharing this dude's video to try to get him like recognition for it and like apologizing for it. Uh, it was, it was an honest enough. mistake. Whoever did's a fucking asshole, but it was an honest mistake. It's, yeah, no, clearly. Um, like YouTube not the guy who did finest. it, but um, like from the studio's point of view, like they. What are they gonna do about it? Like, how does I know this guy fucking stole it from some dude? Fucking um, YouTube, man. So, obviously, YouTube restored the video. Um, and basically apologized about it. Well, what was awesome, the, the dude came out and said, like, I'm not even fucking mad. Like, he was like, I posted this video expecting to get, like, two views off of it. He's like, now I have a few million. He was like, I'm not even mad. He was like, you guys can use whatever the fuck you want off my channel. Um, how to get yeah, successful? Like get, One, get cool your family dude. and friends to sub. Two, get them to tell their friends. Three, say something bad. Four, make an apology video and get tons of views. Five, settle. Six, repeat step three through five. Honestly, pineapple. You want to know what else? Propose to your girlfriend on a video game only to have her boyfriend over your brother. Yeah, but then we have to actually get married, and no. <laughs> right. Maybe we'll get famous secret Wait, if we actually follow the off. ships. No, no, no marriage, no, no babies. Well, no fucking. Seeker. Yeah, no Once fucking. Once that fan fiction Ellie wants so badly is done being written, I'm sure we'll be more famous. Yeah. Okay. Is she actually writing a goddamn fan fiction? Uh, I think we're gonna have Faith do it. I quit. <laughs> you can't quit. I own you. Podcast is over. We're done. <laughs> I own you. What about marriage, God damn. babies, and? Do what, Anna? What about marriage, babies, and all that? Uh, we're oh, not getting married or having babies. And having a baby. We have two. We have we have ferrets. They don't count. Shut the fuck up. Go back to the kitchen. Yeah, go back to the kitchen, like like Costello said. I actually just came out of the kitchen. How dare you? Yeah, that's where you belong. Go back. <laughs> I wasn't hungry anymore. Well, that's not why you're there. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> go back to the kitchen. We're gonna get fucking redded, dude. We're gonna uh, get. The thing is, like, I make these jokes, and I was like, okay. What do you want? Like, we were laying in bed the other night. It was like two in the morning. I was like, make me a sandwich. She was like, okay. I'm like, no, like, fuck. Dude, but, Anna's the best. Uh, get yourself a girl like Anna, and you'll be happy. Uh, I do not. Um, my name is Seeker, and I do not approve this message. <laughs> what? Getting yourself a girl like Anna, or go back to where you came from? God damn it, Ah, uh, that one. My mom's a bit old now. Good to know. All right, get the fuck out of here. We don't, <laughs> no, no women allowed. This is a men's only nut box. Dude, it's only weird. it's a nut box, not a what, what would it be called for a, a woman? soggy box. A soggy box. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nasty. Uh, Sax, soggy Sax box. is allowed here because she's actually a dude. But yeah, she's got a dick, I think. Yeah, she's definitely a trap. We've discussed this many a time. Right, right, right. She's the trap of the group. Yeah. Alright, I think we should end it here. We're at an yeah. hour and 30 minutes and we're out of content. <laughs> we're out of content. Honestly, so yeah, like I said, anybody watching, I did not prepare for this one. I did not realize it was podcast time. My, my week is all fucked up because of work and so much other shit going on. Um, you gonna make an announcement? Sure. Seeker's not gonna be here next week. Uh, it won't be until the 26th. 26th so yeah so the 26th next, next so i'll actually be here on the 25th um but then the 26th of the monday i might be back before the next sunday so i should be here okay um if not i guess you'll get to record it oh yeah i can't wait i don't have the recording set up on my streams but i will start big dumb um but yeah i'll probably i don't think i'm gonna be there for a full week so if i do go that's fine I keep saying I'm going. I'm just hopeful that I'm going. It's it's been said that I'm going to, but think things tend to go backwards where I work. So. Make sure you talk to Ace. Before.
before you go. If you're not going to make it back, make sure he knows he has to fill in. Oh yeah, and that's actually a good point. Not giving him an option this time. Yeah, we'll make him film it too. Or <laughs> ending because content, or I'm your only viewer. God damn pineapple. Uh, it's the content um, one. Also, yeah. pineapple the viewer I, thing too. I stream regardless of amount of viewers, man. Like. I'll, I'll, I'll play one game and get like 19 viewers and play the next one and I'll get zero and I'm like, fuck it, I'm still going to keep streaming. Um, yeah, that's because you actually, you're already an affiliate, so you have to care. Or you don't have to care. I don't have to care. Well, that's hard to. Um, but yeah, like, I Back rarely up. look at like the fucking like view count and all that. Like, I just do whatever the fuck I'm doing. Um, plus, this is going to, to be on YouTube, and if for some reason we get big, some people might come back and watch it, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. Uh, if that happened, and you're coming back and watching it, hi, sorry that we still suck at this point in time, hopefully we get better. Yeah, um, I'm sorry I'm such a fucking Chad now. And if we don't get any bigger, and for some reason you came back and watched this, uh, let me know if we're still around or not. Um, I'll probably forget about this in like a month. Yeah, and if I'm for some reason dead, we, um, right on my gravestone, if you can find it, whoever finds my grave, uh, I will hide my stream key in it, and you can put <laughs> my channel from there and become the next Costello Music. The only the biggest downside to our uh, podcast is that we do it at such a late time that like most people listen to podcasts through like in the early morning, like before work or like do you midday. Want to do this in the morning? No, because I work in the mornings. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, like, we definitely film at a bad time. Um, because most Holy people shit. at this point in time are either watching movies or they're watching, like, someone actually playing something that they're supposed to watch. Podcasts are more to listen to than to watch. Uh, yeah, well, that's why we're doing that. That's why our background is a fucking coin that says Nutbox on it. No, man, the background's different now. Oh, yeah, I forgot you changed this. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not as good as a coin, though. The coin's in three spots. I think we'll be okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're gonna end it here. Uh, thanks very much for coming out. Um, like I said, I forgot what was happening today. I'm tired as fuck, so sorry if I was boring. I, I always am, so. Yeah, it's okay. I forgive Fucking you. chest. I'm dying, man. I swear. I don't mind, but. Um, so we're in cold tonight. Uh, pineapple. Yeah, that's uh, it for as, us. as you pointed out, as our only viewer right now, uh, thanks for coming out. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for visiting his channel and not mine. I think at peak today, we only had like five. So, I mean, that's how podcasts are usually going to go for us. We had, I think, yeah, no, we had like, we had like nine or ten on one of them. I don't remember. Um, But yeah, it's always back and forth, man. Um, Just wait till the summer. Yeah, I'm fucking ready for summer. Like Christmas break will be good, too. I'm considering this point of the year, like, training for <laughs> uh, fucking summertime. Um, well, only... spring break, Christmas break, and whatever next week is should be better for us. Hopefully. The only issue is I'm going to be fucking gone, but whatever. Um, mm, that's right. See you guys for calling it a night for the seventh for the time I've said that. Um, you guys like the sound of Yoshi typing? It's great. It makes me happy. <laughs> Yoshi, stop playing video games. You're supposed to be having fun. I found you guys by searching Yoshi. God damn it. Um, wait, you searched Coochie and found us? Excuse me? <laughs> that might... Dude, can we, if we have a YouTube channel, can we make the YouTube for it, uh, Coochie.exe? That'd be pretty great. Or Coochie.info? Or we can just call it not porn. Not porn.info? We're not lying, it's not porn. That's true. Kinda like yeah. the Game Grimace Grim Butt Sex.info? Yeah, I actually had a uh, old folder on my old laptop that said not porn, if you open it, it was full of dogs. <laughs> uh, all right guys all right i'm gonna call it seventh time have a good night um <laughs> hopefully i'll see you next time uh i'll auto host take care of that kind of shit because my whole desktop's exposed right now one of your overwatch yeah. stream was called that was it coochie was it no we've never named something coochie before it might have been that makes me happy that's how you found us though i need to start naming my streams that all right what, coochie have a good night. We're not doing this shit again. Last stream, we fucking said goodbye a thousand fucking times. Thank you guys yeah, for coming out. You never know when to shut up. Discord link down below. Go there. I Costello's might talk to you sometimes. Too. Don't talk to Costello. He doesn't matter. Don't oh. Uh, <laughs> have a good night, guys.